Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update to my Panda palette and I'm sorry the lighting is crappy. I waited way too long <laughs> before filming this uh, or like before sitting down to film in a day. So the sun has started to go down outside so we are losing light as well. Um, but yeah, I thought let's just sit down, let's just do it, let's just film it because we all love these kind of Panda palette updates anyway hopefully. So yeah, today is going to be a quick update to my Panda palette and if you've been following along you know that I am panning the VCR Dark Matte palette this year. I did start panning this one in August of last year and then I kind of carried it over the New Year's and then kind of restarted this project in January and yeah, only panning this one basically. Um, so as I said, this is the VCR Dark Matte and I will put up right here. Uh, what it looked like last time compared to what it looks like now. So let's just go through the progress that I have. I think that I don't think that this pan has expanded in this brown right here. It might have expanded a tiny bit in the purple. Um, I can't remember. And then my goal was to hit pan in this orange, which I was finally able to do. We have a tiny baby pan in there. And then my other goal was to kind of create a dip in this green right here. And I feel like I kind of did that. It, there is like a nice dip in there. It's not close to pan, but I'm actually gonna consider that goal kind of met. Uh, because I did use it quite a few times. I am wearing it today and yeah. I'm actually happy with how many times I was able to use that considering I'm not wearing makeup like every day since it's uh, since I'm self isolation isolating basically um, but yeah otherwise I don't think I've used a ton of the shapes in here I did play around with this one a little bit yesterday and uh, I've used I think I've used most of the shapes at least once since my last update so yeah I'm pretty happy uh, with the progress that we have right now the only thing is that this palette is probably cursed because I waited and it has lost 0.2 grams of product since my last update and that is basically what it have been doing like I no matter how much I've used it I lost I have lost 0.2 grams of product since I put it in basically like I think a few times it has been 0.3 but it's like <laughs> it's cursed <laughs> there's always like 0 0.2 grams of progress so and I know I talked about this before but if I use it like this like if I have a 0.2 grams of product like progress each month then it will take me seven years to like seven and a half years to complete it if it was like if all of these were full and I took out these three shades right here and so yeah that would be basically a bit less than seven years left of this palette so yeah good thing I like it <laughs> it's not really a summer palette so I think I will be struggling going forward like doing a lot of I, I've been doing a lot of more spring appropriate and summer appropriate looks with more like neon shades and colors so I think I will be struggling a little bit with this one but I'm still going to keep it on hand and hopefully use it as much as possible and I think the goals for next time I think I will do them a little bit differently so I would like to make one goal of expanding the pan in all of the pans I already have just because I want to kind of keep using them so it doesn't have to be a lot maybe one or two like two maybe two or three times using them each and that will kind of make a difference in kind of the size of the pan uh, in my next update so I would like to do that for each of the shades the, like each of the shades that I already have a pan and I don't think I will continue focusing on this one because I'm kind of tired of doing green looks and I did play around with this one a bit yesterday and I like the results so I think I'm gonna make it a goal to make a dent in this one here so I think I will only be able to have like a small dip before next update but that would be really cool if you could see it's starting to kind of form a dip so yeah, that is my update on this palette and uh, <laughs> I'm failing so hard at this. But So in the beginning of the year, I also decided to kind of put in a companion palette to my panel palette. And so in the beginning of the year, I had the Natasha Denona 
like the big one, the blue purple palette um, with like 28 colors and <laughs> my goal was to hit pattern on, or like I don't think I actually had a goal of hitting pattern something in that but I kind of used it for a while and then I was kind of yeah not really motivated by it so I pull it out and I pull in a new one and I pull in the Carl Pop Dream Street palette and my goal with this one was to hit pan in any of the shades in here just to kind of give it some more use and I think like the reason I pulled out the Natasha Denona palette was because I it was very kind of or I don't know it felt like it was neutral or I didn't really want to play around with the colors in there. I wasn't super excited. I did use the purples a lot and I did use the neutrals a lot but I wasn't really kind of excited by the blues. And then I put in this one which also has a lot of neutrals and then you have these kind of tealy blue shades. So it was kind of... It was probably stupid putting this in. I have made a bit of progress on this one right here, which is just like an inner corner highlight. And I have used this quite a bit. But the thing is that I will take my finger and kind of swirl all around the pan. And then I will kind of pat that all over my lid. So it doesn't like show a dip or anything. And I have used this a few times as well. So I think I'm actually going to pull this out too. It's such a fail but I think I will pull this out before hitting pan on it just because I'm not really excited by it and also because the situation we are in right now is a bit different than when, when I put it in. So when I put it in I was still going to the office every day and I could kind of play around with the more neutral shades in here. But now that I'm home I been I've been gravitating towards more colorful looks again so I think I'm gonna pull that one out and then we're gonna put in a more colorful palette and I think the palette I'm going to go for this time I'm, I'm also I'm kind of torn between this one and also the Be Perfect Carnival palette but I think I'm gonna go with this one for now this is the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions and this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection I love like the size but still you have uh, some like variety in here and some some nice colors to choose from so I did hit pan in this one I think in a project a long time ago and then I did actually hit pan in this one just a few maybe a week ago or two weeks ago and like it's funny how this was my companion palette and I was not able to hit pan in this one but this one which I'm not focusing on I was able to hit pan in this one just a few weeks ago so I think I'm gonna go with this one and I would like to hit pan in the yellow because I think I'm pretty close and I could kind of combine that with the oranges in my pan and palette but then it would also be nice if I could hit pan in like any of the uh, shimmery shades in here because I don't use them a ton and I feel like but me oh we'll see if I feel gravitated towards them since they are purple blue and kind of turquoise I feel like I'm just kind of tired of that color scheme so it might be like reaching more into like all of these um but we'll see I just kind of want to make some progress and I think it, it's fun that I already have a little bit of pan in this palette because if I take a photo we can kind of compare and see if the pan in these grow uh, like if the pan pants grow <laughs> before my next update so yeah this is going to be my new companion palette and in this one I'm pretty I'm pretty confident that we will be able to see more pan in this one before I kind of remove it from this project so yeah those were kind of or that was kind of the update on the palettes and then I haven't actually had a time because now the sun is going down so I haven't had time to kind of look through the looks that I've done with my Panna palette uh, this past month so I'm just going to kind of insert them and then you can look at them and if you want to know any of the colors in any of the pictures you can just uh, ask me in the comments and I will of course uh, reply to you. That was it for this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, thank you so, so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!